Now the Michigan International Auto Show is back in Grand Rapids. The auto industry showcasing the newest cars and technology at the event. And that's where we find 13 on your side's Emily Scarlett. Emily, what else can people expect out there this weekend? Hey, Jay, good morning. Well, we are joined by one of the event organizers, Diana Stampler, to tell us all about what families can expect as they come out over the next several days once doors open shortly. We've been talking a lot about Electric Avenue. We're going to get to that shortly, Diana. But what are some of the other fun highlights people can expect? Well, you know, this really is a family friendly event. We want kids to be f excited about the automotive industry here in Michigan so they can come in and do a kids ride and drive, get behind the wheel. There's a cute little BMW back there they can take a couple of loops. So Subaru loves pets is here and who doesn't love some puppy time, right? So the kids can come in with the families, talk to them about pet adoption. And that's one of the big charities that Subaru is behind. Gilmore Car Museum was a, was here with a collection of vintage vehicles. And then if you want to dream big, we have our exotic cars. So Ooh. if you're, you know, your Lamborghini isn't fancy enough and you want to <laughs> hear about how to dress it up a little bit more, the folks at Label Motorsports can talk to you about making that shine even more than it already does. Excellent stuff, Diana. And of course, really, when you talk about vehicles these days, electric vehicles, absolutely top of mind. And we are standing on what you all are calling Electric Avenue now, showing us really the evolution of electric vehicles. Absolutely. You know, um, the last few years, we've started to see that increase in hybrids and electrics. Um, and we're seeing now even more manufacturers. We have about 25 electric cars in the building for the show. But as you can see here, we've not got um, uh, Volkswagen is in it. I mean, can you think about an electric Maserati? I, I mean, that is that we uh, amazing. We've got Audi here uh, over in the other parts. Uh, not all of the electric cars are in Electric Avenue. Some of them are scattered out. So you can see a couple in the Ford display with the Mach-E and the Lightning. Uh, BMW's got four different electric cars on display. I was checking out the Cadillac one not the too long ago. The Cadillac Lyric. I mean, if you're into that commercial that I am into, <laughs> that car is something special to check out. So it's a beautiful car, but Diana, really Really quickly, we mentioned this electric car uh, minutes ago. I know people wondering. They didn't believe me. They didn't believe it was electric, but it says it there on the car. Tell us more about this one. Well, this is one of the items from the Gilmore Car Museum, 1980 vehicle. Um, you couldn't take a lot of friends out in this one, but you know, it really again shows the evolution of of, of electric vehicles, of car design in general, and it really is, you know, a conversation starter. Yeah, we have come a long way. We're going to wrap up here shortly, but you did want to mention there's a special here the first couple of days of the auto show. Absolutely. So one of our displays is also for first responders. So you can see an ambulance and some police cars. And on Friday and Saturday, those first responders are admitted free. Our thank you to them. Absolutely. Excellent stuff. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. I'll send it back to you all. Love the look of that tiny little clown car that you say is electric. I want to know how much <laughs> I can get that for. We're in the market for a new vehicle.